viewers, I am a global nationalist. I support nationalism in my country, India, and in all countries around the globe. Today, I want to talk about uh, the SEO and about the uh, riots that are happening in Kazakhstan this month. So here I want to talk about the SEO countries and how they have responded to the Kazakhstan riots and the uh, response of the SEO itself. The SEO's response is given by the Secretary General. The, it's, he said that maintaining internal stability and social harmony in the Republic of Kazakhstan as a member state of the SEO is one of the key factors of peace and security in the region. We count on the earliest possible stabilization of the situation, rest restoration of law and order and public security in the countries, ensuring the rights and interests of all representatives of the multi-ethnic and multi-confessional people of Kazakhstan. The regional anti-terrorist structure of the SEO vowed to intervene in the Kazakhstan unrest if needed, but also back the Kazakh government's actions. Well, now, this means that the SEO supports the actions of the Kazakh government, which are to uh, go against the protests and to uh, arrest the rioters and to basically put down the unrest and uh, Kazakhstan government has already um, called upon the Russian government to send its troops there so the SEO also supports this and I think these are good initiatives good thing that the SEO is supporting Kazakhstan and it's not trying to interfere with it in it without Kazakhstan's uh, request. Now, how China has responded to this is that President Xi said China strongly rejects any attempts by external forces to provoke unrest and instigate color revolutions in Kazakhstan, as well as any attempt to harm the friendship between China and Kazakhstan and disrupt the two countries' cooperation. China is willing to increase law enforcement and security cooperation with neighboring Kazakhstan and help oppose interference by external forces. China, China's foreign minister said, he also said that the recent turmoil in Kazakhstan shows that the situation in Central Asia is still facing several challenges and it once again proves that some external forces do not want peace and tranquility in our region. This is a very uh, noteworthy response because uh, President Xi has called this a color revolution, which is a revolution uh, done to remove a government from power by a foreign government, whereby that foreign country instigates um, saboteurs and provocative elements in the country to revolt against their government and to replace that government with a government that is friendly towards the country which instigated the revolution. And China has called this a color revolution, saying that this is an attempt to harm the friendship between China and Kazakhstan. China is willing to increase law enforcement and security. This means that they're willing to send their forces to Kazakhstan which means that they've taken note of Kazakhstan's invite to Russia. So they're saying that they are also willing. But Kazakhstan did not invite them. They were happy with Russia and other countries' forces. And they say that Central Asia still has several challenges. So the main point from this statement is that China believes that this is a regime change action, that this is not a natural homegrown movement against the government. Russia's response. The Collective Security Treaty Organization led by Russia sent forces as well. Russian uh, and the Russian Foreign Ministry said that the riots were an attempt inspired from the outside to undermine the security and integrity of the state by force. Putin says that Moscow led forces to remain in Kazakhstan for a limited time. 
in fact there are sources most media sources in Kazakhstan are saying that the Russian forces will leave the Russian led forces rather will leave within next few days and he said that Maidan methods were used this is referring to the revolution that took place in Ukraine which removed a government that was a president that was uh, pro-Russia and installed a president that was pro-NATO. This was done without an election but through force and this has been proven to have been a revolution that was supported by the US and NATO. So Putin is saying that US indirectly that the US and NATO are doing the same thing in Kazakhstan. And the fact that China referred to outsider forces shows that they are probably in agreement with Russia on this. Kyrgyzstan's response is that they sent troops as a part of the CSTO peacekeeping operation because they are a member country of the CSTO. And Kazakhstan's foreign ministry said on Monday it has issued another notice to Kazakhstan following the detention of Kyrgyz nationals in that country. This shows that uh, Kazakhstan has arrested several Kyrgyz nationals. Now, these may be simply innocent bystanders or they might be also part of the rioting mobs. So until further information comes, I can't say for sure. Uzbekistan's response. Uzbekistan's government has halted natural gas exports. Gas exports have been completely stopped and all gas volumes are being directed to domestic consumers within the country. An energy ministry representative said back in November, the accounts chamber, which answers to the president, announced that from January 1st, prices for electricity, natural gas and other utilities would rise. Yet 10 days into January, those price changes have not yet materialized. Why is this? This is because Uzbekistan's government, after seeing the reaction and the unrest against the uh, uh, Kazakhstan government when that government raised fuel prices, they don't want the same unrest to happen in their country. Uzbekistan is not a part of the CSTO. India's response the Ministry of External Affairs said India is closely following recent developments in Kazakhstan. We express our deepest condolences to families of innocent victims who have lost lives and to violence. As a close and friendly partner of Kazakhstan, we look forward to an early stabilization of the situation. Kazakhstan's President Kasim Jomart Tokayev's India visit, planned for the month end, remains on schedule despite the crisis the country saw in the past few days. The President will be in India this is it. on January 26th and 27th to take part in India's Republic Day celebrations. This is a very simple statement by India. It hasn't uh, laid blame on who is responsible for these uh, this unrest and has simply called for an early stabilization of the situation and has said that it is a friend of Kazakhstan. The fact that the president is still visiting India on January 26th, shows that uh, this, that Kazakhstan does not at all hold India responsible for this and that this hasn't affected its relations with India. Afghanistan's response. Afghanistan trained radicals are suspected to have carried out the recent terror attacks in Kazakhstan, which led to vandalism of important installations and buildings in Almaty and loss of lives across the oil-rich nation. The Russian security establishment, which is closely monitoring the situation in its neighboring country, has uncovered the role of radical elements from Afghanistan. The Taliban's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that they are closely monitoring the current situation in Kazakhstan and as a close neighbor and trading partner, is concerned with a recent unrest. It expects the government and the protesters to resolve the current problems through dialogue and peaceful means so that stability and peace can return to that country. Now, first I'll look at the Taliban statement. 
Uh, they are saying that they want peace in Kazakhstan and that they're worried about the situation. This shows that if this is an honest statement, that they have not sent deliberately sent anyone to Kazakhstan to cause trouble. And that, however, it's also possible that if this is not an honest statement, then we can tell from the second sentence where it says that they expect the government and protesters to resolve the current problems through dialogue. Perhaps they want the government to uh, succumb to some of the demands that the rioters are ha making there in Kazakhstan. And this would make sense if, like Russia says, uh, many of the rioters are Afghan trained radicals. Pakistan's response. Amid the unrest, Pakistan claims it has set up help desk in Kazakhstan and its Ministry of Foreign Affairs has been in contact with its embassy in Kazakhstan so that they can uh, repatriate their nationals from Kazakhstan to protect them. Pakistan's Tablighi Jamaat, which is an Islamic evangelical group, that has ties to several terrorist organizations is in connivance with Afghanistan trained radicals and are suspected to have carried out the recent terror attacks in Kazakhstan which led to vandalism and loss of lives across the nation. So here you can see that this is a timeline for the Kazakhstan crisis. It starts on the 3rd when protests against the LPG price rise begin. These protests were for a legitimate issue. Many people in Kazakhstan are, are very are much poorer than the upper classes. There's a lot of income inequality and they are very heavily affected by a rise in oil prices so and so this was a genuine grievance however once on the fort price curbs are put back and the price rise is halted and reversed the on the fifth the protests continue this shows that there were elements in the protest from the beginning which were not against the price rise itself, but were actually aiming for something else and were using the price rise as an excuse to start a movement. And so on the 5th, government buildings were attacked, Government, uh, the government resigned, the cabinet was removed by the president, but the president stayed in power. And on the 6th, Russian troops arrive. Uh, they were leading the CSTO forces, which consists of other countries, which are, uh, such as Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan. Not uh, of the SCO, only the countries of Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and Russia are part of the CSTO, as far as I know. If I'm wrong, uh, please correct me in the comments. On the 7th, the government says ha that order has been restored. That in the areas where there's un been unrest, they have arrested people, they've shut down internet and other communications, and have pretty much uh, stopped the protests. and. From the 8 to 9, the protests end. Now, what does this show us? This shows us that this was not a genuine movement, a peaceful protest. This was a riot, more than a riot. This was actually an insurrection. Note to the Democrats, this is what an actual insurrection is, not people protesting a faulty election, an allegedly fraudulent election. That's not a insurrection. So, yeah, this is uh, this was really bad. Uh, several people died from both 
from attacks by the rioters and in firing by the armed forces. About 150 more and plus people have died. So this is a really very unfortunate series of events. And I'm glad that Kazakhstan has brought back order and along with Russia and the CSTO. And I'm glad that the SEO countries all came out in support of Kazakhstan. None of them uh, lectured Kazakhstan or put it down. And however, I am worried that radicals from Pakistan and Afghanistan were in Kazakhstan causing riots. I hope and uh, Kazakhstan president has, I think, today said that these riots were uh, started by Afghan and Middle East based uh, militants, which is very worrisome because it means that the Taliban success in Afghanistan has energized and perhaps even uh, motivated and perhaps the Afghan, the Taliban is supporting these groups to carry out further attacks in the region. So hopefully uh, the not just the CSTO but the SCO also can prevent such violence from occurring in the future and if it does they can react against it. And I hope that countries like the US and Europe and others don't interfere in the region and uh, mind their own business with, as, with all due respect, I hope they do. And yeah, that's what I hope. I am glad that peace has been restored and that there is no more violence. And I'm also glad that Kazakhstan's president will come to India for Republic Day and along with the other Central Asian uh, heads of state. And I'll be covering that when that happens. So, thank you for watching. And if you want to see my other videos related to the SEO, click here. If you want to see my previous video, click here. If you want to see the sources that I used for this video, click in the description below. Vande Mataram.